हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज वृशाली इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल एस डी एल सी मॉडल्स एंड रिक्वायरमेंट इंजीनियरिंग यूनिट विथ एग्जाम्पल आई हैव मैंशन कंप्लीट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट यूनिट एंड नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइन क्वालिटी गाइडलाइंस एंड एट्रीब्यूट लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन In today's session we will discuss about software design objectives of software design software design process their quality guidelines quality attributes and some important questions that have asked in previous year question paper let's see all these points one by one now the first thing is what exactly software design in previous sessions we discuss about first phase of software development life cycle that is requirement gathering and analysis we discuss how to collect requirement from the customer types of requirement then how to analyze requirement and different requirement model now after requirement gathering and analysis the next phase is design phase basically software design is a process of transforming all the user requirements into suitable form or suitable design this design help a programmer for implementation purpose because the output of design phase is move forward to the coding phase software design is the first step in software development life cycle because which focus on the problem domain to solution domain previously we just gather the requirement here we provide the solution in the form of design software design fulfill all the requirements mentioned in srs and this phase handled by software design engineer or ui ux designer next the next one is objectives of software design while generating a design you must follow all these six objectives the first one is a correctness means your software design should be implemented by using correct requirement as per srs document next one is a completeness the design should have all the components like data structure modules then database user interface external interface so everything have mentioned clearly in design next one is efficiency like every resources for example designing tool software requirement hardware requirement so everything used and mentioned efficiently next one is the flexibility see customers needs can be changed at over time of software development life cycle so you need to generate a design in this way that will be able to modify as per the changing needs of the customer next one is the consistency consistency means you should generate a design in consistent manner there is no any missing information and wrong information have mentioned maintainability your design should be simple that can be easily maintainable by the designer and easily understandable by the developer next the next one is a software design process basically this process have divided into the three levels first interface design second architectural design and third detail design Here we just take a overview of this design process. In next units, next sessions, we discuss all this process in detail. The first one is the interface design. Interface design focus on the interaction between system and user device. For example, we use WhatsApp, so we just use their front end interface. We didn't know what happened exactly in background, right? So all the user interface, which is called as interface design. so scenario and behavioral based diagram like use case diagram activity diagram this diagram have used in interface design we already discussed this diagram in detail in previous sessions so interface design focus on which type of customer used which type of features only front end interface okay next the next one is a architectural design architectural design focus on the major components of system their responsibilities properties interface relationship and interaction here we use class based and flow based diagram for example architectural design focus on which type of classes used in program their attributes their objects then flow of system means when you click on particular button which page will be open so actual working flow of system this thing have generate in architectural design the next one is a detail design so detail design focus on the internal elements of all the major system components means it is focused on algorithm data structure database so generally interface design focus on front end interface 
architectural design focus on the middle end and detail design focus on the back end of particular product next the next one is the software quality guidelines as exam point of view this is one of the most important questions so you need to remember this all guidelines by understanding this highlighted words the first guideline is a design is generated using the recognizable architectural style recognizable architectural style means you have to use proper recognizable diagram like use case diagram activity diagram class diagram so you have to use this style while generating a design with good design characteristics with all functions and implemented in evolutionary manner so this is the first guideline second guideline is the design of software must be modular means you should generate a design module by module for example first there is a registration system after that there is a login system so you have to generate a design module by module next one is in design there is a complete representation of data architecture interface and component you should have mentioned all those thing in design the next one is design must carry appropriate data structure and recognizable data pattern means which type of data structure database used uh, in particular product and their data patterns you have to mention all those thing in design next one is design component must show independent functional characteristics see suppose there is a particular product they have different components and every component having different features so in design you need to show independent functional of each and every component next a design create a interface that reduce the complexity between components with external environment they reduce the complexity for example when you click on submit button your data have stored in database right means there is a connectivity between this between this form right the second example is in embedded system uh, pro project suppose they use different type of hardware components like sensor led so there is a connection between program and external interface so you have to mention all those thing in design the next one is design must be derived using repeatable methods and last one is you have to mention proper notations that will be uh, generate effective communication so notation means in design you have to mention this is a user this is component these are the features so everything mention clearly in design so at that time you have to use proper notations so that will be understandable by the designer as well as developer next the next is software quality attributes so there are total five quality attributes while developing a particular product you must follow these quality attributes the first one is a functionality means while developing a product you should evaluate all the feature set all the requirements uh, given by the customer and all the capabilities of the program the next one is a usability so usability considering the following factors like human factor consistency and documentation your particular product is usable to each and every person or each and every users or each and every stakeholders that will be in particular project next one is a reliability so reliability uh, just consider by using a particular thing like frequency and security of failure if your system is fail then which type of solution is there then output result of accuracy accurate result is there recovery from failure and program predictability that what will be the output of particular program so this all things have mentioned in reliability next next one is a performance your product performance is measured by speed response time resource consumption throughput and efficiency for example when you use whatsapp your whatsapp will open within a second you can send a message within a second right so there is a good response time good speed and good throughput and efficiency right so this this is called as performance next one is supportability so supportability include many factors first extended program means in future you have to add new features so that will be possible in your product their adaptability and serviceability there is a good service for maintaining a particular product it also include testability compatibility means system can be easily install on each and every device each and every operating system and configurability means suppose there are any problem have generated so you need to find out easily which type of problem is generated 
then this supportability also include this kind of features like modularity reusability robustness security portability and scalability portability means a particular product used on different type of devices different types of operating system so they provide security also and a robustness also so these are the software quality attributes so in your exam what are the software design quality attributes and quality guidelines this is one of the most important questions for 8 marks here you have to mention all five quality attributes and their explanation and eight guidelines next so this is all about software design thank you keep learning